Well, hey, Journey family, Pastor Stephen here. And we're in our Advent season. Advent means the arrival. And we're looking at the first coming of Jesus. And then we're looking at his second coming as Savior and Lord and King. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 28 says this, So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with the sin, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly awaiting, eagerly waiting for him. And what I want to talk about today is that Jesus is coming again. And we talk about this in Advent a lot, where Jesus comes the first time as a baby in a manger. We, many of us have heard this story, right? This Christmas story. Uh, it's, you know, we have this whole Santa story in, in our American culture. We also have this um, Jesus story where you know, this baby in a manger and these two people around him and, and all these animals. And uh, Jesus came once fully God, fully man, as a baby, but he's going to come again. And this Jesus is coming again as we celebrate in Advent, the, the arrival, this anticipation, not of, not of presence, but the anticipation of the coming of Jesus. And what we believe is that Jesus could come at any time. We believe in an imminent return of Jesus. There have been some things over the past 2,000 years of Christianity where people have said, I think I can predict when Jesus is coming again. You can't predict when Jesus is coming again. No one can. Jesus said you can't. What he said is he's coming again. He's coming at any moment. It's an imminent return. And we should be waiting for him. What does this text say? It says he will appear a second time. He's going to appear a second time. Did, did he come yet? You'll know if he comes. Because once he comes, he's going to create a new heavens and a new earth. I do not think we're in a new heavens and a new earth yet. But this anticipation, this sense that our Savior is coming to bring a new heavens and a new earth is, is so core to who we are as Christians. Because it's, it, it, it's a part of the hope of heaven. That what, what we don't want to do is we don't want to say, well, if Jesus is coming again, well then, um, I guess I guess it doesn't really matter what happens on this earth. No, because Jesus is actually redeeming, restoring this planet. This is a new heavens and a new earth. And what God wants us to do is God wants to take care of everything that we have here, and he's coming again. This is just an incredible reality for us. And I don't think we spend enough time really thinking that Jesus is coming again. We don't need to build elaborate charts to chart the, the date of his exact return. Uh, don't build a bunker in your backyard. There's actually a whole book. Uh, there's two letters, First and Second Thessalonians, where uh, there were Christians that Paul is shepherding. These Christians were saying, we're going to... Um, we're just going to like quit our jobs, not do anything because Jesus is coming again. No, Paul says, no, you got to you gotta work your job. You got to do your life because you don't know when he's coming back. And he wants all of his people to be busy about kingdom work. What this does is it gives us an urgency and expectancy to our lives that today Jesus could come back, that things are not as bad as they could be, but they're definitely not as good as they're going to be. Let me say that again. Things are not as bad as they could be, but they're not nearly as good as they're going to be. That this, this reality here on this earth is we're bringing heaven to earth and Jesus is coming again because he loves us. And I want you to have an urgency and expectancy to your day today. Not trying to predict when, but saying our Savior is coming soon. When things are really hard, you could say, Jesus, come soon. When things are really good, you can say, Jesus, I know that this is just a small taste of heaven. Come soon. And we can, we can hope and expect the soon return of our Savior together. Let me read the text one more time. Hebrews 9, verse 28. So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who eagerly wait for him. Jesus, we eagerly await your return. Come soon. Come soon, Jesus, to love and care for your people, to bring heaven to earth. In your name, amen. Well, you are greater in the eyes of the Lord than you are on your own. Love you, church. Mm -hmm.